Ben Messenger for Waste Management World. We're here in Rimini at the Ecomondo Show. I'm the Lorenzo from the Italian National Institute for New Technology. Lorenzo, you've been working on some pyrolysis technology to recover plastics from waste electronics. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yes, um, uh, we have developed a pyrolysis process applied to uh, plastics of waste electronics to obtain uh, chemical intermediates uh, for industry or uh, um, diesel oil. Uh, plastics uh, are made of uh, technopolymers uh, full of uh, um, uh, flame retardants, uh, modificators, uh, plasticizers that make difficult uh, the mechanical recycling. And Lorenzo, can you tell us, is there any pre-treatment required for um, the plastics before they go into your pyrolysis process? Uh, no, uh, that's one of the main advantage of the process. Um, uh, that can treat uh, a, a large range of different technopolymers uh, without uh, separate them first. And I understand you have a, a pilot scale facility currently uh, operating. Yes. Um, can we, you give some details? Uh, we have uh, developed uh, the, the process first uh, on a bench scale and, and then we, uh, we, we can uh, implement uh, with two uh, pilot scale plants. Uh, one is a, a rotary kiln and the other one is a fluidized uh, bed and um, we have a flow rate uh, uh, of um, 5, 10 uh, kilo per hour. And what do you do with the pyrolysis oil once you've recovered it? Uh, we can uh, distill it uh, in order to um, separate the different hydrocarbon fractions uh, in order to obtain uh, um, different um, uh, aims, uh, uh, different uh, uh, paraffins, uh, olefines, uh, uh, for different applications. And when would you see this technology potentially becoming commercially viable? Uh, um, one of the... Uh, the pyrolysis is, is um, uh, an old uh, uh, process very well known uh, by the industrial uh, tradition uh, but uh, it has uh, it had uh, a lot of difficulties uh, to to be applied uh, because of the um, uh, corrosion uh, gas gases inside the the, the, the main products uh, so um, uh, theoretically uh, could be uh, uh, could be applied but uh, we have to first test uh, the impact of the corrosion due to uh, bromine uh, acid uh, or uh, hydrochloride uh, uh, compounds. Lorenzo, it's been great talking to you. Thanks for your time. Thank you.